Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today let's talk about what I got for my birthday and Christmas. Last month's video was what I got for myself for my birthday. This time what I got from other people or what others have given me as gifts. This is the only time that I'm able to go through it and some I really haven't opened. It's now um, end of January. I got this from mid-December and then some after Christmas. We'll open it together. So the first one is this candy advent calendar and this is what it looks like. It's got jelly beans, gummy bears, sour cola bottles, and candy bowls. I got this before Christmas. I got this from church. They had a Kris Kringle because I am new in that church. They wanted to give us gifts as part of their Kris Kringle and it was so embarrassing because I didn't bring anything. I didn't know that they were going through that anyway. So I got this and I probably I won't wait till next Christmas to give this. I will, I think, consume some of this. Or what I could do is open a couple of boxes every month and see what's in it. It's best before 3rd of Feb 2021 anyway. I may just have to do that and include it in my vlog, in my year-long vlog. So that's the first one. Second one. Okay, what is this? All oh, right, so this is still got a price astronomic back bomb. So that is what it looks like. Is there a scent to this one? It smells like a bubble gum. I tend to do a lot of baths during winter, like hot baths. This time it's summer. Next one, that's the packaging. I got this. There's a card. I'm not gonna read the card and who it came from. I'm just going to show you the gifts. It's like I said, we will open it together because I honestly haven't really looked through into all the gifts that I received. I've got these. What is this? No more, no missing out selection box. Vegan and free from dairy, gluten, eggs, nuts. So that's nice. This one's caramel and sea salt chalk bar, fruit and crunch chalk bar, creamy chalk bar, and then I think that's just a milk chocolate. Nice. I'm excited to have these. Although they are all acidic. So no more means no missing out. So this one I've got to consume before May this year. Okay, next one. This is... This one's got no card. This is... Oh no, actually it has a card but no name in it. To Marissa and family. So which means me, Big Ted, and Sebastian. So the card and what's inside is tapas serving set Mediterranean life. Oh nice. This one has got green olives and sun-dried tomatoes and it's got a couple of this tapas bowl which is really cool. Olive is alkaline, tomato depends if it's cherry tomatoes it is alkaline. This will be great for barbecue. Alright, so this one I've got to consume before September this year. Uh, this came in a Christmas bag. So there's the card. The shoe box. I don't think this is the same shoes. Someone from church gave me a shoe. This is size 7. It will fit me. So this is what the shoes looks like. It's got that stiletto. So it's size 7. There's the stiletto heel and it's got this strap. I like that it's in neutral color so I can easily use this with any of my summer dresses and uh, outfit. So that's nice. What's it called? It's Pierre Fontaine. Show the detail of the shoe like that and it's got this strap in here. Well, it's not too too high so probably just two and a half inches so that's not too high I'd be able to wear this for a few hours I'm sure next I've got this card I also got this it's <laughs> got a price anyway this is a candle from where is it from I think dusk yeah wow it's so pretty that is the candle pretty glass container 
Hmm, smells nice. So this one is, what is the smell? Orchid and cherry blossom. Kind of powdery orchid and cherry blossom is really uh, strong in this candle. Got this. Happy birthday. So this is meant for my birthday. Who is this from? Ah, okay. All right. It's a uh, perfume. Promise by Jennifer Lopez. So it's the Eau de Parfum. I think this is JLo's new perfume. Should I open it? Like, let's just try and open it. I'm just gonna open it because I wanted to see what the bottle looks like. Oh, nice. Right. So that's the bottle. I know I said before I'm not buying any more celebrity perfume. But I didn't buy this. This was gifted to me. And so I, I don't know much about the composition of this perfume. But I don't want to open it. I want to keep it and uh, use it once I'm done with all my other perfume. But this is very pretty. I'll definitely use this once I'm done with all my other perfume. So this will probably be in the fridge for a while okay so i've got this royal dalton pure essential oil natural soy wax candle lemon and lime so that's what the box looks like i bought stuff from royal dalton before and so i know they are great candles mm, very refreshing because it is lemon and lime this smells summer definitely i will be burning this during this summer season and then i've got these um what is this so this is jean paul gautier scandal look at that bottle it's so cute let me just smell it's like it's got vanilla bergamot mix i'm not sure it's got it's sweet and fruity but i'm pretty sure the base will be musky but that is a cute bottle Called so this came from uh, David Jones and there's a card in here it's from a great friend and she even put I think this would be my birthday gift because she really went out and got a card with my age on it so <laughs> anyway okay so the story behind this is she gifted me a sampler of the molten brown because I already have tried almost all of the scents in molten brown that I now know which one that I wanted and my favorites are Rosa Absolute and Tobacco Absolute I've got the honorable mentions but those are two of my favorites my door is opening at the back so but those are two of my favorites and so I exchanged the sampler that she gave me and got instead a couple of the Rosa Absolute because these are my favorite favorite scents I'm so touched and pleased that she really went out of her way to get me a box of molten brown to me that's so sweet because it really went out of her way to go and find a product that i love she knows me and she knows what i like and i really appreciate that um, when i use this i know i'd remember her and i'm so thankful for for this gift this is perhaps one of my one of the best gifts that i got for my birthday so and then a gift from the boyfriend he does struggle buying me gifts. He doesn't know what to give me. So he he ends up giving me the same stuff every time. So sweet though. He got me a uh, diffuser reed and a candle. So that's the diffuser reed and this is the candle. So it's got the English pear and melon but wrapped in a bouquet of freesia and lily of the valley. So it's a very sophisticated scent. It's it's light it's not overpowering it's just perfect for this season so i must admit he, he did pick well um because he knows i'm quite picky in terms of scents in the house but yeah this is really fresh it's in my entrance area so whenever people come in they that's the first thing that they would smell and then this is the candle Actually, there's a name to the set. It's called Pola. Made in China. Anyway. Yeah, that's also very light. And I like the glass container because I actually reuse it. You know, and put cotton balls in it after. Anyway, so that's it. One. 
So this one's from my boyfriend. I haven't opened it, so we will open it together. He got it because of the print. He thinks that the print is so cute. I will try and open it slowly. <gasps> okay, it's a Sharovsky. What is this? Okay, why? So that's the crystal. It's so nice. Ah, thank you, babe. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. <laughs> Probably. What is this anyway? Winter sparkle ornament. Okay, and that's it. Probably hang it in my vanity area and be reminded that it was from him. Okay, and then the last one, I had to buy a gift for myself. Well, I I justified it that it's uh, Big Ted and Sebastian getting me this. So I've got a box of molten brown. So in here are three bath and shower gels. So that's what I got. So this one is orange and bergamot. The middle one is jasmine and sun rose. And then the last one is the delicious rhubarb and rose. I can't wait to uh, use this one. I think I'm excited about the jasmine and sun rose and the delicious rhubarb and rose. I'm so excited about these two. Also with this one, but more so with these two because my favorite is the Rosa Absolute. Where is my Rosa Absolute? Okay. So that's the Rosa Absolute. So this is my favorite, the Rosa Absolute. It's got sun rose and this one has got the rose. Then I'm so excited to use them. Orange and bergamot, that must probably be refreshing as well. Anyway, so that's the gift. Gift from my boys. Alright, and that's it. Thank you all for watching. See you again next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.